We're going to install Python 3.6 from python.org and we're going to select from the downloads. Just go ahead and select Python 3.6. You can also do 2.7.13, but um, this is a newer version and uh, we're going to install uh, NumPy, SciPy, Matplotlib, some of the other standard things that come with Python that make it a very useful um, for scientific computing. So I'm going to select this, double click it, um, and it's going to uh, install. Uh, one of the things I want to do is just custom installation. And uh, one of the things I like to do with custom, okay, so let me go back, uh, just go ahead and select this custom. Otherwise, it's going to uh, install it to this really convoluted path right here. I like to be able to see the folder that I work with. I don't want it to select 10 different directories. Okay, so I'm going to install this, but I'm going to customize it, and it's going to install pip. It's going to install the documentation and IDLE uh, for my editor and uh, some of the other things. I'm going to go ahead and select all of those and click next okay and then here I'm going to just shorten this path okay and I'll do that all the way down to just Python 3.6 I know it's a 32-bit version already and um, we'll go ahead and install for all users as well and then go ahead and um, install okay if it asks you to give it administrative privileges just go ahead and select yes and then you'll see it installing. Okay, so it's going to, um, once it finishes installing, then we will see, um, let me go ahead and open up this folder. It's gonna be putting it uh, right here, Python 3.6, so it's just copying over all of these. You're gonna see things like in the scripts folder, once it finishes installing uh, pip, you're gonna see a scripts folder there, and then um, you're going to Okay, so here's some other scripts as well. Okay, there's scripts right there. There's easy install. It's probably still finishing installing pip. Okay, there it goes. You can see things pop up. Okay, there's pip. There's pip3, pip3.6. Uh, so that's going to help us uh, do the package management. Okay, so I've got uh, Windows, the C drive. Uh, Python 3.6 and then scripts and then I'll show you how to install some of these other packages. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, once this finishes installing we'll go ahead and start a command prompt and that will allow us to uh, run pip. Um, I told it to add uh, this path to the, 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 envi uh, the environment variables okay so let's just go ahead and see if it's already done that. Uh, I'm going to type environment, okay, and then you can select this edit the system environment variables. And I'm going to go down to environment variables right here. So it's going to be adding all of these. And uh, there you can see it already added it. Okay, so it's added C Python 3.36 scripts and C Python 3.6. Okay, so already added those, and you can also edit this if you want to. You can modify that if you have a different default Python that you want to um, run when you do the command prompt, you can edit that. Okay, so there it is. It says it was successful, and I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then um, what I can do is just go ahead and delete this installation. Okay, and then down here I'm going to start up a CMD or command prompt. Okay, and I have this command prompt, but um, when you're installing packages, one of the things I like to do is just uh, install it with administrative privileges. Okay, so come here, type CMD. Okay, and then you can right click it when it says command prompt and click run as administrator. And just select yes if it asks you to give it um, administrative privileges, and there you have the command prompt. Okay, and I'm just going to change directory back to Python 3.6. So just do cd space dot dot uh, twice and then change directory to Python 3.6 and then come into scripts. You can do tab complete once you do sc and then hit tab and it'll do tab complete. Um, okay, and then if I look at what's in there, I see I have pip. I just uh, looked at what was the content of my directory. 
And so if I do pip install matplotlib, then that's going to go out and collect uh, the correct version for me. Okay, you can see it got a wheel file, a WHL file, and then it also has some dependencies as well. I had date util, and it also had um, hmm, six and py, pytz, and numpy as well. And you can see pyparsing and cycler and a couple other ones. Okay, so it has all of those. And then what we're going to do is, it, uh, let's see, it's going to install those um, in precedent and order, and then you know with all the dependencies that it has. Um, and then once it finishes installing, it'll either tell us it's successful or not successful. Um, if it isn't successful, then uh, we may need to go get uh, some of those wheel files ourselves. Okay, so it said successfully installed cycler, matplotlib, numpy, pi parsing, date util, pytz, and six. Okay, and all those are required for matplotlib. Okay, now we're going to try another one. Okay, we already have numpy there, but let's try scipy now. Now this one, um, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, depending on the support uh, for scipy. But let's just see what happens here. SciPy 0.19.1 tar, uh, uh, the GNU zip, so it's downloading the source. And then it's going to try to install it, but chances are I'm not going to have all of the compilers that it's going to need to compile it from source. So it's probably going to throw an error, but I'll be pleasantly surprised if it doesn't. So, oh, there it is. So it couldn't find it says, mm, you don't have uh, LAPAC, BLAST, uh, also there's compilers. You could spend a good, um, a long time trying to compile that from source. So I'm going to give you a different way of doing this. There's a link uh, where these have been pre-compiled. But what I'm going to do is, um, first of all, uninstall NumPy. Okay, so uninstall NumPy because we need to get a different version of NumPy going this other route and just select yes for uninstall NumPy. Okay, so it uninstalled NumPy and I'm going to go to um, apmonitor.com and go to slash PDC. That's the process dynamics and control course where I have install Python. And there's a link down here. I'll post this video here under the Python 3.6, shows you how to manage the packages. And just come down here to do the install package wheels, WHL uh, offline. Okay, and we're going to go to uh, Christoph uh, Gokli, um, Gokl's uh, WH files. Okay, sorry, Christoph, I just butchered your name there. Um, but we're going to come here. He's made this available. And uh, the very first thing that you need to do is get the Microsoft C++ redistributable. So if you're doing Python 3.6, just go right here. And you'll get those. Um, and that will uh, let you download from Microsoft. Just go ahead and click um, you know, English if you want English, and then download. It'll download and install it. Okay, so I already have that on my computer, but go ahead and get that if you don't have it. And I think I just closed that. Okay, so let me go back here and install Python. And okay, let me go to Christoph's website again. Now this is really nice because he has um, a list of all these packages uh, that are compatible with Python 3.6. And I'm just going to look for NumPy. And we want to get the uh, NumPy um, plus MKL, the math uh, kernel library. Okay, so that's why I installed the other one. All right, and this is the one we want right here, the Win32, 32-bit. And I will um, go ahead and just select that. Let's see if it does anything here. Okay, I'll do Save As, and I'll just put it on the desktop for now. Okay, it's going to download, and then I also want SciPy. Okay, there's SciPy. Go ahead and select that uh, link. Okay, come on. It's going to be a little bit bigger download here. Uh, plus, I think this web page might be a little bit popular. Um, and then we're going to get uh, 
SciPy. Let me just find the next SciPy. Okay. Mm. Let me just go down. If you go way down the list, you can see all of the different packages. It's in alphabetical order as well. So um, you can come down to SciPy. There it is. And we also need um, this one right here, it's Python 3.6 and Win32, 32, 32-bit. And we have this WHL file. So it's uh, the latest version of SciPy, 0.19.1. So in lieu of trying to compile this yourself, we can just go ahead and uh, select this. Okay, so I'm going to save as and then put it here on my desktop as well. Okay, so just a little bit of time left for these downloads. I'm going to go ahead and pause this. Okay, now it's um, downloaded. Okay, both of them have finished downloading. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and put these into the same directory where I have the pip installer. Okay, so my directory is already there. If you don't have that available, make sure you get your command prompt back. And then what I'm going to do is just do pip install and do num and then hit tab. Okay, and then it'll give you the full uh, name. Now don't change these names because that will make it so it can't verify the compatibility of your, the wheel file with your Python uh, package. But once you go ahead and run that, it's going to install NumPy. And uh, this one is going to take a little bit of time as well. So I'll go ahead and pause it. Okay, that wasn't very long at all, actually. Okay, now what I'm going to do is do the um, SciPy. Same thing, but uh, we're going to do SciPy. Hit the tab there just to have it complete. And then click Enter. Now this is going to install the uh, SciPy again, compatible with Python 3.6, 32-bit. And it's going to check the compatibility for you. Um, but now we don't need all of the compilers. Uh, we did need the redistributable, but uh, beyond that, we don't have to find all of the Fortran or C compilers that are required to build uh, Python, uh, the SciPy package from scratch. Okay, so there you can see it installed uh, SciPy as well. And now what I'm going to do is go ahead and just test this out. Okay, so I'm going to just go to my, uh, let's see if I've got any new programs that were installed. Okay, and there I have IDLE, for example. Go ahead and select that. Um, you have the IDLE, uh, you have a shell. Okay, and we can type commands here. We can also just create a new um, text document, for example, um, and put in some uh, you know, commands in Python. Uh, import numpy as mp and then I'll do x equals mp dot lin space and we'll go from 0 to 10 and we'll have 20 values and then we'll print x okay so very simple program I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on my desktop and call that uh, starting script dot py now, if you can't see the extensions there, one of the things that you can do is come into your file explorer, click view, and select options, change folder options, select view, and make sure this hide extensions for known file types is unselected. Click apply, and then you'll be able to see if there's a rogue.txt file uh, extension on that or not. Okay, and um, so there's my program. I'm in Notepad++, so I'm going to open this up instead in IDLE. If I right-click it, and then go up to Edit with IDLE, and uh, here is my editor. And let's just test and see if NumPy was installed. There we go. We have 0 to 10. And let's go ahead and try uh, SciPy as well. Let's see, import uh, scipy dot, hmm, let's see. I'll do from scipy dot integrate import ODE int. And then I'll just do help ODE int. 
Okay, so let's see if that has it. Okay, so it has it installed. I just did a help on the odint function and it printed it out to my console. Okay, so we have uh, Python uh, 3.6 installed with matplotlib, numpy, and scipy. And thanks to Christoph for making those uh, WHL files available, the wheel files. Uh, it really helps so you don't have to have uh, compilers um, to, uh, to have to compile that yourself. Okay, and uh, if you need additional information on, uh, let me come back here. This is the website I maintain on installing Python and maintaining packages. And then um, you can get a little bit of additional help there on managing your packages.